Hi everybody, my name is Paige and today I want to tell you about some books that made me laugh out loud. So recently I just did a video of books that made me cry, but I have to tell you about some books that have made me laugh out loud. Like not just LOL, but like literally LOL literally laughed out loud because you know you can type lol and not really but this is actual i laughed so let's go ahead and get started the number one books that have made me laugh are the getting lucky series by megan quinn there are four books in the series and it follows the four brothers in that family and <laughs> it all begins with they kind of believe that a curse was put on them that this lady put a curse on them that they would not find true love until their minds have matured and so they kind of believe this there's ones that believe it more so than the others but they all kind of low-key believe it and <laughs> their banter between these well there's the four brothers and one sister and they have like a chat um a text chat that they uh, that they have between them and whenever they get together there's just lots of fun banter um there's just a lot of hilarious situations in this series and uh i really enjoyed it i i honestly looked forward i had to like bend this series uh quickly because i honestly look forward to each book and what you know what <laughs> how it's going to make me feel because it made me feel light and happy and I just love these books so much I highly recommend the series. Another book that made me laugh out loud was The Ball Peen Hammer by Lauren Rowe. This is one of the books in the Morgan Brothers series and this follows the brother Keen and he is a male stripper. He was trying he was a baseball player but he, after he hurt his shoulder I think or his elbow or he hurt his arm and he couldn't play baseball anymore or for the, you know, professionally. And so he just kind of like lost for a while trying to figure out what he's going to do now with his life. And he has such a fun personality. He is, <laughs> he's hilarious. But he also has a side to him where he is, you know, kind of an introvert as well at times because as much as he is funny and outgoing, he has to like charge himself up. And I totally get that, you know, like when you're in a situation where you're around a lot of people and it's like, it just totally drains you and you have to charge, to recharge yourself from that. And um, I totally understood where he was coming from. And, um, <clears throat> but his personality was so funny. And then hip going through his stripper routines. <laughs> this was hilarious. Um, I really enjoyed reading his book. The next one is I Think I Might Love You by Christina C. Jones. This was hilarious because the heroine was so unique. I haven't read a heroine like her. She was hilarious. So it all begins with her. She finds her boyfriend has, you know, he cheated on her with his wife. She didn't even know he had this whole or a whole other family. She's been dating this guy and she didn't even know this side about him. So she destroys his car. Like she does damage to his car in retaliation of it. And then now she needs a place to stay. So she goes to crash at her sister's place. Well, while, you know, her sister is gone. So, but she has the key to get in. And this in walks this dude and she punches him. <laughs> She's like, get out of here. You're not supposed to be here. And he's like, wait, you're not supposed to be here. It was a completely misunderstanding because her sister had rented out her place and she's not, they're not very, since she's, since she's not there very much and she had forgot to tell her. So that was funny. And then she rescues this cat and she's trying to figure out what to do with it and she brings it in a bowl a tupperware bowl with chicken in it to the vet office and of course he's the vet the guy she punched so 
this had a lot of funny situations in it. And then she had to do community service time for destroying the man's car. So then she had to do her community service hours at his vet, the vet, the veterinarian office. So this book made me laugh out loud as well. <laughs> Another book that made me laugh was One Moment Please by Amy Dawes. This is about a girl who has this one night stand with this guy. And uh, she meets him because of, you know, her friends, uh, just some mutual friends. And that's how they meet. They meet one night at a bar. They're attracted to each other. They have a one night stand. And then a couple of months later, I don't know if it's that long, but it's a little while later. And she is clumsy. And so she uh, falls somehow and twists her ankle. So she goes to the ER and in walks the doctor which is the guy who she had the one night stand with so they run the test on her you know make sure she's okay and everything and then he comes back in and says um you're pregnant <laughs> and, she, and he's like you know and she's like well you're the last one i had i've been with <laughs> so they gotta find out together right there in the er that they're expecting a child <laughs> <laughs> it's such it's kind of like it's not a meet cute because that's not where they meet but it's such a hilarious moment that I mean being in that kind of situation would probably suck but reading it from you know like a third person perspective an out outlooker <laughs> it was totally funny and I it made the book I read that I actually read the book just because of that part um, I heard somebody say that and I'm like, I have to read that book. <laughs> the next one is Wrong by Jenna Aston. This kind of has a similar, you know, kind of a funny moment I, like that. This is about a girl who's working at a coffee shop. And every morning, this hot guy that she's crushing on comes in for coffee. Well, she decides that she needs to be put on birth control or whatever. So she goes, makes an appointment at like the health department or something near her and in walks the doctor, which is the gynecologist, you know, gonna like do her exam and everything. And it's the guy she has, that's been coming into the coffee shop that she's crushing on. <laughs> it's like totally awkward. So, so hilarious. It ended up being their relationship, but it was so funny. So, so funny. The next one is Beard Science by Penny Reed. This is the third book in the Winston Brothers series. And this follows the brother, uh, Cletus. And he is hilarious. He is such a quirky character. He, <laughs> he's like all the time planning in his mind. Like if somebody says something wrong to him or like out of you know if somebody does something out of meanness to him or his family he's constantly thinking about revenge strategies you know just simple things like like for instance the guy that is the brother of the heroine in the first book he's on he's a police in the town and one day he had pulled him over or something for just some like not you know good reason it was just him being a jerk to Cletus and so Cletus <laughs> makes a deal with somebody putting um cornstarch or some type of uh I think it was cornstarch in his uniforms and his cop uniforms to make him itch just things like that like he's all the time thinking of of weird just weird things and he is such a quirky funny character and I really enjoyed his story he he just totally is such a fun character in this series and the last one I have is the guy on the right by Kate Stewart and what makes this funny for me what made this funny for me was the heroine she <laughs> she is just like this small town country girl and I can totally re relate to that because I have had friends like that before especially one I've I've had a friend like that and it also kind of reminds me of where I grew up because of course I grew up in the south and uh <laughs> she you know the guy that 
the guy, I think his name was Theo. He, he was, he's more, uh, city and refined and she's just kind of like a country bumpkin type of personality. And it made me laugh because it just, I could, I imagined, um, one of my friends doing that and I could just, I don't know, just things that she did was hilarious and just things I could relate to. It's like, oh my God, it's <laughs> things she said, things she did. And it was just, it had funny aspects to it. So anyway, those are some books that have made me laugh out loud. Let me know um, books that have made you laugh out loud. I would totally love to have some recommendations because I haven't read enough books that have made me laugh. Um, I am always up for a good laugh. It makes me feel good. It boosts my spirits. So let me, got, let me know what your recommendations are. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.